people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news, we see that this M U R D E R for hire is getting from bad to worse as it pertains to Jamaica. And persons are paying minimal amount of money to take away persons' life for no apparent reason. Now, people, based on information, it is said that an ASSI NATION attempt on three women in western Jamaica, meaning St. James, West Milan, and over them sorts of area there, it was intercepted. And this is based on some sort of intelligence by the FBI. Federal Bureau of Investigation in America and also some multi-agency in Jamaica, the JCF. Based on information, it is said that a red Toyota Yaris was intercepted on Washington Boulevard and in that vehicle it had three persons. I am speaking about Andrew Wright, 28-year-old. He is said to be a district constable. I am also speaking about Adrian Graham, O.C. Shaba and also Aaron Brown, JJ OCE is 23 year old. Based on information, it is said that this vehicle was traveling when it was intercepted by the Popo, and when they searched the vehicle, they found a Glock pistol that was in the possession of the DC District Constable, and it also had 11 9 mm rounds. Based on information, it is said that several premises were also searched, and at one premises, they found an American tactical rifle and also. 30 rounds of 5.6. I think those are high powered rifles that are 100% sure. Let me know in the comment section. Now, people, based on the information, it is said that these persons were paid 400,000 Jamaican dollars. Now, people, if we do the maths, that is less than 3,000 US dollars for three persons. So, therefore, 1,000 dollars, 1,000 US dollars each are even lesser than that. So people, can you imagine? You have these young youths in a Jamaica and even in a this case, a district constable. Because when we speak about a district constable, we are speaking about somebody that is attached to the JCF. Some sort of Pope, I don't know the rank, I don't know what type of qualification a DC has. However, he is also linked to the JCF Jamaica Constabulary Force. Now people, when we think about stuff like this, and we think that members of the JCF, whether it's a district constable, he is supposed to serve and protect. He is supposed to be somebody that we can rely on, somebody with trust, somebody in which is not supposed to be involved in any sort of crime. Worse, the worstest type of crime, we are speaking about the takeaway of three young ladies that basically did none of these four persons anything wrong. However, they were locked up. So people, it just shows you Money is always the root of all evil. As a matter of fact, the love of money is the root of all evil. And it seems as if these young youths in Jamaica, they are lazy. They don't want to work. So therefore, wherever they can get any sorts of easy money from, they are willing to do it without even contemplating, without even thinking about it. Because people, here we are. Three young ladies that have nothing to do with any of these persons, have not done any of these persons any sorts of wrong. And people, apparently... The district constable has everything to do with it or maybe because he is aligned to the JSF. That is why his name is prominent in this investigation or this boss people. I not really know. So people, like I said, there are at least five persons in custody. Three persons including the district constable that was held in a red Toyota Yaris along Washington Boulevard and also two other persons, a man and a woman that were held with a high-powered American tactical rifle in a Kingston 8. So people, this is preliminary investigation. So as soon as I get some more pertinent information, I'll be sure to divulge ASAP. Now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now people, the next thing that is popping in the news is an update about a story that I spoke about earlier today on my channel. And it pertains to those two people from the Orient who lost their life. They were the owners of Jojo Supermarkets. 
and people based on the information it is said that some gunmen in the era they were extorting the owners of this supermarket and they put in a request a request for 1 million Jamaican dollars and people apparently the owners of this supermarket did not take them very seriously and they were yapping at the lip so therefore when they came based on information from the popo it is said that there was some sort of robbery they demanded more money however that request was not granted so therefore the people them get caught up mostly in the crown the man the husband he lost his life on the spot the female the wife she was taken to the black river place of recovery however people the wounds in her crown was too bad she did not make it she lost her battle to survive soon after reaching at that place now people when we look at stuff like this and we see the history as it pertains to these garrison as it pertains to the owners of these supermarket and wholesale we see that there's not really a strong history of them losing their life as a matter of fact you and i being jamaicans we stand a greater chance a much greater chance of losing our life as opposed to foreigners especially as it pertains to the people and with the wholesales as it pertains to the person this family this couple this man this wife so therefore whenever we see stuff like this it is not as if it is more tragic it is not the reason why it makes the news it is just a very unusual occurrence so therefore when we see anybody take out two operators of these businesses people are shocked people are startled because it is not something that we see on a daily basis however as it pertains to you and i we could always lose our life and people it is not significant it is as if it is just another day in paradise however as it pertains to them different different thing and people we can almost say that the reason why is that jamaica is a very classy society so therefore if you have money if you have any sorts of face card if you have any sorts of big businesses you are more respected and likewise your life seems to work a little bit more and people i am not saying that it is right me just i tell you how it seems now people when i spoke about the story earlier today i said that based on what we've seen transpiring in saint elizabeth and i am speaking about three instances i am speaking about an instance in which a school a driver of some children that goes to Monroe and also Hampton she lost her life her name was Marilyn um, Toppin she lost her life in 2019 her husband put out some sort of hit and he paid a man and that hit was contract or that hit was also orchestrated or the person that made the link was also a taxi driver his name was Owen Day he also lost his life because when he got a million dollar from the man that put out the hit on his wife the driver of the school bus mrs marlin the taxi driver refused to pay the people their amount of money he lost his life and i also spoke about that teacher that lost her life mrs smith in a treasure beach at that basic school i also said that the person that is responsible the mastermind he is somebody that is notorious in the St. Elizabeth era. He is the person that is renting all the toll. He is the person that is also renting all of the K-I-L-L-E-R-S. So therefore, more than likely, if there's any sorts of disturbance, if there's any sorts of extortion, any sorts of robbery in the St. Elizabeth era, more than likely he is going to be directly or indirectly linked to it. And people, like I've always said, whenever i speak it is not the gospel it is my opinion however people based on credible information that i am now getting it is said that the mastermind of those three person is also the mastermind behind these two people at jojo supermarket losing their life and people it is a fact now people what is very disturbing about the whole thing is that it seems as if there is some sort of cover up in a saint elizabeth as it pertains to this crew, this man and him combolo, because there's been a couple of instances in which the popo know about it. However, it seems as if everything is swept under the rug. It seems as if not until lately after the teacher lost her life, 
that is when somebody was held that is when there were some sort of person of interest and people don't get it twisted don't get it misconstrued there was a suspect held as it pertains to the driver of those school picnic and also the taxi driver so therefore two persons were in custody however the case seems as if it is hush hush and people i am going to explain the reason why based on information that i am getting it is said that a lot of the popo in a Pedro Plains, a lot of the popo in a St. Elizabeth Junction, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling, they are actually in bed with these criminals. They are actually getting money. They are actually getting tipped off. They are actually being bought out by this criminal and people. What makes it even worse? Around. It is said that this person also have some sort of political link. So people, you know that money is power and power moves mountain. And whenever you're any sort of criminal, I have any sorts of poor polling and any sorts of political link you are going to get away with m-u-r-d-e-r -E you are going to get away with a whole bunch of stuff however people if you know jamaica like i know jamaica whenever any sorts of foreigner lose their life it is going to go to a new a brand new a more serious ball game so people we can expect to see some sort of result point blank and period so people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.